Hi, I'm Matthew Kelly. Welcome back to Radical and Relevant, where we are exploring the genius of the Gospels, each day looking for a word, a phrase, or an idea so that we can anchor our day in the life and teachings of Jesus. Today's reading comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 25 through 27. At that time, Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to the children. Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. What jumps out at you today? For some reason, I've, I've always had a great um, devotion to, to God the Father. I think you know, God the Father gets sort of neglected sometimes. We spend a lot of time focused on Jesus, and rightly so. We spend a lot of time talking about the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the counsel of the Holy Spirit. But sometimes I think the Father gets a little bit set aside. What strikes me today is Jesus saying, no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Let's ask Jesus today to, to reveal the Father to us, to reveal the Father to us more and more so that we can understand His incredible love for us, so we can understand His will, which Jesus describes here as your gracious will. That's what he says to the Father. For such was your gracious will. It's a, it's a beautiful way to describe the will of God. Sometimes when we're wrestling with the will of God, we don't see it that way. Usually in hindsight, we do. For such is your gracious will. Let's go looking for that gracious will today. Have an amazing day. Remember, do not just be yourself. Be the very best version of yourself, all that God created you to be.